Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 30th of 2019. Well, it is titled Orion rising over Brazil. So what do we see here? Well, this is the familiar constellation of Orion and one of the more prominent constellations in the sky because it is composed of a number of relatively bright stars and some of the brighter stars in the sky. So we see that and it makes it stand out and some of its distinctive features make it one of the more recognizable constellations in the sky. Now one thing you may notice right away at least for those of us who live in the northern hemisphere is that there's something wrong here that it appears to be upside down. Orion's head and shoulders are in, in the towards the lower left and his legs or are towards the upper right. Now that's because of where the image was taken and that's that it was taken down in Brazil south of the equator and when you are south of the equator things are going to look upside down relative to those in the northern part uh, in the northern hemisphere or they look upside down of course depending on which hemisphere you are in. So that's one of the demonstrations that the Earth must be a sphere because we are standing towards the bottom portion of the sphere at that point, and therefore uh, looking at things from a completely different perspective and gives us this upside down view of the stars. Now within Orion, we see a number of prominent stars and the two brightest stars in Orion are Betelgeuse down in the lower left hand side and a very distinct red color. And to the upper right, we see Rigel very distinct blue color. So very great distinction between these two and that has to do with their temperatures. Betelgeuse is a very cool star, uh, uh, less than about half the temperature of our sun. And Rigel is a very hot star several times the temperature of our own sun. The hotter the temperature of a star, the shorter wavelengths it emits. So Rigel will emit more blue light and in fact a lot of ultraviolet light, whereas Betelgeuse at a much cooler temperature will be emitting reds and infrared light. Now those are the two most prominent stars but what also stands out to people is Orion's belt these three stars very close together in the middle which are very closely spaced relatively bright stars and again that pattern that distinctive pattern stands out to people and helps them to be able to identify the constellation. Now hanging down from Orion's belt or in this case since we're in the southern hemisphere hanging up from his belt is the sword of Orion. Now the sword of Orion is looks like three stars there kind of like the belt but hanging towards the upper right in this case. And if one of those does not look like a star that's because the middle star there is really not a star but the Orion Nebula. And we've seen the Orion Nebula in the past. In many of these images, it's a great star forming region. In fact, most of Orion is a great star forming region itself. But here we can actually see the Orion Nebula in this image. And in fact, you can see it with your naked eye. It is visible. Of course, it won't look as detailed as this and will look kind of like a fuzzy star in the middle of Orion's sword there. So that was our picture of the day for September the 30th of 2019. It was titled Orion Rising Over Brazil. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be unsafe horizons. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.